As we all know that Udemy is an online learning platform that offers a wide range of courses on various topics. Udemy serves as a marketplace for instructors to create and sell their educational content to students worldwide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first course on Udemy and start making money. Before that, I want to show you my total revenue and how my courses are generating revenue each month. So here, this is my instructor page. As you can see, these are my list of courses that I have made so far. And you can also see the status of my earning this month. And you can also see the enrollments this month. And these are my course ratings. So if I go to the performance, you can see my total revenue and you can also see the total enrollments and my instructor ratings. So under that, you can see the my total revenue and then my earnings this month. And you can also see the, the total enrollments of this month. And you can also see the ratings of this month. You can also click on the last 12 months and check the last 70 days, last 30 days. So if I click on revenue report, you can see the more details and so far from Udemy I have made about $1,587.69 from Udemy. This is my lifetime earnings from July 13, 2023. If I go to below you can see the time period that I have made this revenue. So you can see I started from December 2022 and my first earning was $92 and you can also see the the other months, January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. You can see here the pre-tax amount, withholding tax, and net earnings. And you can also see the expected payment date. So if I started, let's say, if I earn it, my revenue, like $92 in December, my expected payment date would be February 8th in 2023. So this is all about it here in this page. So if I go to the performance, you can see this is my course performance. So you can also see the courses here. You can also see communications. So you can also here see the students. If you click on students, you can see the list of students. You can see 2,842 students right now. And you can also see the, the where your students are from. And you can also see the this uh, map. And you can also see the reviews of the students. You can see the course engagement. You can see some statistics. So this is all about it actually from my side. So now we want to create a new course. Now it's the interesting part. So in order to create a course on Udemy and start making money, you just need to click on this new course button. Click on the new course and you will have two options, course and practice test. So you can also make a practice test on Udemy and it's so easy. But this now we want to focus on creating a course. So for that, let's click on course and click on continue. Next, we need to give the title for this course, okay? So as you can see, the example, learn Photoshop S3 from scratch. So you can give the title. So I wanna go to my notepad. I want to give the course title. Basically, I want to copy my course name. So here I have uh, the learn AWS from scratch 2023. So I have just saved it uh, on my notepad, not to waste your time by typing. So learn AWS from scratch in 2023. This is actual AWS is a cloud, cloud computing service. Let's click on continue. And now we want to choose a category. So which cat what category best fits the knowledge you will share? So click on choose category. Whether you are a designer, whether you are doing a course on marketing, design, lifestyle, photography, you have to choose that. So in my case, I need to select IT and software and click on continue. Here you have to select the how much time you can spend creating your course per week. It doesn't really matter, but you can select. I have lots of flexibility. Click on create a course. And this will create us our course. Here you can see learn AWS from scratch in 2023. Now the course in draft mode. And you can see it's in zero minutes of video content uploaded. So here we have on the left is plan your course, create your course content and publish your course. So first let's click on intended learners and here we want to provide what will students learn in your course. So we have to basically mention at least four learning objectives or outcomes. So here on my notepad, I save it here. So let's, let me copy that. Let's say understand AWS fundamentals, first one. And second one is, let's say deploy and manage virtual machines. 
Instead of typing, I'm basically copying and pasting not to waste your time. So you can also pause the video and complete this and build scalable and highly available applications, I say. So if you don't uh, complete at least four learning objectives, you cannot save that. So next one is what are the requirements or prerequisites for taking your course? So you have to mention about the requirements. So in my case, I want to say like uh, basic computer literacy. And you can also click on add more to your response. And then you can add more. So let's say networking concepts. And click on add more. And here let's add one more, which is programming language. And that should be enough. We are pretty good to go. Next is who is this course for? You can see, you can write a clear description of the intended learners. So in my case, I have saved it here. So anyone who wants to learn AWS fundamentals. So you can basically write who is this course your course for? So that's, that's all about it for these intended learners. Click on save. And then you can see your changes have been successfully saved. Now go to course structure. Here, here you don't have to do anything. Just uh, it will, you can see it will show us checkbox. Now we can move on to set up test video. So here you can create your test video and you can get personalized, personalized advice on your audio and video. So if you want, you can go on, but it's not uh, mandatory. So you can go to film and edit. And here you can go and read about these instructions and you can move on. So basically, this is a curriculum page where you can upload your videos. Here we have a one section, which is introduction. And inside this section, you can see we have a, another lecture, which is also introduction. So here you can also add it the introduction sections. This is a section name, section title, and this is a lecture title. So basically, when you create your course, there should be introduction. So you can leave that now. And for the lecture, we can add it and say introduction to AWS and click on save lecture. In order to create a new lecture, you can click on this curricular item. And here you can create a new lecture, quiz, coding exercise, as well as assignment. So let's click on lecture. And let's say, for example, installing AWS from scratch. Click on add lecture. Let's another section and uh, let's name this section EC2 basics. Click on add section. Let's add a lecture, create a lecture. And then let's say how to create EC2 in AWS. Click on add lecture, curriculum item. We need to add a couple of lectures as an example, just to showcase you. So here, let's say AWS uh, replication, let's say, and click on add lecture and one more actor, lecture. And then here maybe versioning, click on add lecture. So this is how you can create a sections and this is how you can create the lectures. So now I want to show you how you can upload your first video. If you have an introduction video, just start with introduction. So basically idea is you have to click on this content and then let me add to EC2 basics, click on content and let's dismiss this error. So click on edit the content and then click on video. And here you have to select the video. And here we want to, for example, click on EC2 and I here I want to uh, upload the video. Let's say I want to upload this random video. As you can see, I have just uh, uploaded my first video on my course and I have just fast forwarded the time because this is a 4K video and it took some time. So here you can see the video and you can enable free preview and you can also make your video downloadable if you want. So I have just, uh, I have only uploaded one video, but you can go and upload all your videos. So, but make sure that you have to upload uh, your video on each lecture because otherwise the, this curriculum section will not be checkmark and you will not submit for preview. You have to upload the videos for every lecture. And if you don't have any videos for the specific lecture, you have to delete that. Next one is course images. So if you click on course images, you can see we have a welcome message and congratulation message. So for welcome message, I want to go to my notepad and take then welcome message. 
So just uh, try to write the welcome message and then as well as congratulation message. So when your student goes to your course and your student enrolls your course, you will he will see he or she will see the welcome and congratulation message. So after that, you can basically click on save and that's much much about it. So now we have to go to the pricing. So in terms of pricing, you have to select the course price tire. So we, here we have to first select the UST and then here there is a course price tire. So you can see you can make your course free as well as paid. So in this case, I want to make the course uh, the paid. So we have, uh, as you can see, 29 tire from 20. The tire one is $90 and tire 29 is $199. So I want to make around $29. So don't worry, you can change this course price tire later after you publish your course. It's uh, changeable and editable. The next one is captions. You can click on captions. And in terms of captions, you don't have to upload. If you want, you can upload that. But uh, this Udemy will automatically create captions when your course is live. But now, as you can see, the course is in draft mode. So now let's move on, that it's optional. You can also go to accessibility, it's optional. So now go to the publish your course, course landing page. So here you need to provide your course title. So we have given Learn AWS from scratch in 2023. But if you want, you can basically change that, okay, anytime. So you can also give the course subtitle. So I want to provide my course subtitle. Let's say unleash the power of the cloud with AWS and here you need to provide the course description. So I'm going to take it from my notepad because uh, the course description must be at least 200 words as it mentions here. You can see below description should have a minimum 200 words otherwise you cannot save this page. So I'm going to click on Save now and you can see that your changes have not been saved. Please address the issue. Now we want to add the basic information. Uh, you can select the, the language here, which is English. And here you have to select the level of the course, let's say beginner level. And you can also change the, the, the category, which we already selected IT and software. Here you can also select the subcategory. So here you can provide, for, for example, IT certifications, hardware operating systems. So I want to select IT certifications. And the next one is what is primarily taught in your course. So you can here specify if you are uploading a AWS course, you can, uh, let's say, write AWS. And it will show me the suggestions. So I can click Amazon AWS. You can propose another topic and let's say um, AWS again. And this time, let's say AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, for example, or Associate, it doesn't matter. So based on your course, you will uh, pick the primarily taught on your course. So here you have from the topics you have selected, which is the most representative topic. So we can say the Amazon S3, Amazon AWS. And here next one is course image. So here, as you can see, it shows the details of the image, what kind of image you have to upload. So you can click on upload file and from my desktop, I want to upload this image. It's just an example. This is my photo with AWS. So you can also upload your promotional video. You can see your promo video is a quick and compelling way of students to preview what they will learn in your course. So this is optional, you can upload it. But you have to note that once you upload your promotional video, you cannot delete it. So you have to be careful that you can update your promotional video, but you cannot delete it. So this is uh, just a quick note. So here you have to specify the subcategory and then you have to click on save again. OK, so once we are done, we can simply click on save. And here you have to crop the image once you upload it, otherwise it will not be savable. So now I'm going to click on save and you have to see the green check. Okay, you can see it there. So I hope you got it. So once we are done, we can go to the click on preview on top right section here, click on preview. You can preview as an instructor or as a student. Now let's first 
click on as a student and here as a student you can see your course so we can basically go to my how to create EC2 instance AWS we have a six minutes video so Hello. we can watch the video here so on my other lectures you can see I don't have any video Everyone, so welcome. this is here you can see your uh, sections as well as lectures so I'm going to go back and I want to click on preview as an instructor and now here you can see you can see your Hello. video as an instructor it's almost same so now uh, we want to go to course landing page and here if you go to if you go to below we can see the, all the details here there is also a preview section so if you click on preview you will see all the details like your AWS, your title, title of your course. You can see subtitle. You can see we have uh, zero ratings, zero students, and we have a uh, created by Otabek Abdurrahman. This is my name. It will show your name here. And don't worry, this will, uh, by default, it shows publish it 1970. It will change once you, you know, once your course is live. And here you can see, you can click the preview of the video by clicking on that. So you can also see the details, what you will learn. You can see the, the sections that we have entered. You can also see the course content. You can see the requirements, description. And if you click show more, you will see how this course is for. So that's all about it for this video. So in this video, you will learn, you have learned it, how to create your first course on Udemy. And also I showed you my total revenue. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.